Hey, what's up, Internet? You want to speed up your laptop? What? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. You will need a screwdriver and a solid state drive. You gotta check to make sure the solid state drive is compatible with your computer. So go to Google. I don't know if you've heard of Google. And then find out about your laptop. For this video, I'm using a Kingston 120 gigabyte solid state drive that I bought on Amazon for $55. And it's going in a compact CQ60. It's from like 2009. Solid state drive, it's lightweight. It's like two ounces. And with the spacer, uh, lightweight. Packing for this was minimal because I didn't get the kit that comes with like the adapter and the software. I strongly recommend you buy the kit with the adapter and the software. Also, check the reviews. Make sure the reviews are good for whatever brand you want to buy. A little while ago, I bought a Samsung solid state drive and I had the adapter and the software that came with that, but neither one of them, well, the software didn't work with the Kingston, so it, in copying and pasting the contents of the hard drive didn't work, so I ended up just installing Windows 7 like manually through a disk. That was not cool, so once again, I recommend you getting the kit. Removal and installation, very simple. Start by turning off the computer, then remove the battery, make sure it's unplugged, press the power button to make sure you drain the computer like fully, then locate the hard drive cover or hard drive bay. Sometimes, usually, there's a symbol, looks like discs stacked on top of each other. It's good direction. Once you found that, remove or loosen the screws. Sometimes the plates are designed to hold the screws in place even though they're like fully loose. So if the screw doesn't come out completely, that's fine. Just loosen it. Once it's loose, it should pop off. And usually the hard drive is in a hard drive like carriage. So that's also usually held in by a screw as you can see here. So remove that and or them if you have more than one. Once you've done that, you can usually just remove the whole carriage. See, I get a little flap of like tape. That's normal. And then it just slides out and you can pull it out. Removing the hard drive disc from the carriage is easy. You just unscrew it. There's usually like four screws. Another thing to keep in mind is if even like 50 bucks is too much, you can find these solid state drives for like 15 and 20 dollars, but they're really low capacity, like between 8 and 30 gigabytes, but still, they're out there. Install is the same as removal, but in reverse. You may have like a spacer that you can put onto your solid state drive, as you can see here, I did that. And also, you don't have to hold the power button down before you put the battery in, so you can skip that step. But yeah, speed up your laptop. Mine goes so much faster now. Plus, if you didn't see the other video that I have linked with this, you want to speed your laptop up even more, it's possible that your laptop has the capability of having the processor swapped out with another one. If you're interested in that, you should check my video out where I swap out a laptop processor by clicking the I in the corner of the screen here. And uh, I've also got a link to my desktop build there as well, and where I use this Samsung Evo 840. It's a 250 gigabyte solid state drive. Yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. If you're just bored, cruise the channel. Check it out. Some good videos. See you later, Internet. I hope that helped. I sure could use some help. Hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand.